Hi everyone, so a few of you wanted to see my January budget, so this is a budget with me video for January. Now I am recording this um, before I'm posting it, and it's actually before I'm going about to take my car in because it was having some, um, it can't seem to keep itself cool for some reason. Probably going to make an entire video of that because that was just a disaster. Um, so I am taking my car tomorrow. If it's something simple, it can be some anywhere between $60. If it's a head gasket, it could be $1,400. So my budget may change depending on what's going on with my car. But just for the sake of um, showing you how I do, how I'm doing my budget for January, I'm just going to film this video. If it does change, I'll just do a revised budget video. And you can see how my mind works when I have to flip everything around on myself. Because it happens, because life happens. But, so, if you've been watching for a while, it's, or been watching when I started making budget videos last year, um, or earlier this year, it's the same thing. I added some things to my, um, my spreadsheet, but in general, it's the same idea. Now, I will just go through it one by one, and you'll see what changed and what didn't, or if you're new here, this is just, this is how I do my budget. Um, I prefer Google Sheets because it's been working out for me for a few years now. Uh, you can also use apps like Every Dollar, which I can link below. Um, but I pretty much love my Google Sheets, so uh, that's what I keep. So, to start off, um, I put in how much um, I'm projecting to make, which is about eighteen fifteen. This is my main. I do get paid only once a month. I know. A lot of other people get paid twice a month. Um, I will only get paid twice a month for my overtime pay or for my shift differential, which happens around the 15th, but I don't ever budget for it, and I'll explain that in a second. But for my um, income right here, if you have to, uh, if you if you get paid every two weeks, then you just add more lines. Um, let me show you. So if I needed to, I can add another line. It does kind of mess things up here, but it's not that hard to, you know, move everything around. So I have 1815, and then I do a zero base bu uh, balance, sorry, zero base budget, which means every single dollar is accounted for. Every single dollar that I have budgeted or um, that I projecting that I'm going to get for my one, my one income, that's what I base everything off of. And the reason I do that and I don't include my overtime is that any money I get in addition to in addition to my main paycheck goes straight into a goal that I'm working on. Um, so if I happen to work a lot of overtime, or if I ha if I, this would actually be from um, December. If I got, a, if I did a lot of overtime in December, which I didn't, I didn't do any overtime, all I'm gonna get is the 30, 40 some odd dollars for my shift differential. But that 30 or 40 dollars is gonna go straight into one of my goals. I don't budget for it because I'm pretty, I'm pretty much saying I don't have this money. This money doesn't exist. Um, it exists only to go straight to what I'm going for. So, start off with my monthly expenses. Um, so my phone is seventy four forty four. That's I already looked it up. So if you're getting close to um, the next month you're coming into, I'll I'll start it off at seventy five. But when I'm getting close to it and I actually get my bill for the next month, I will actually fill it out. So it's seventy four forty four. My car insurance is gonna be one forty six. I did get um. Spotify premium because I actually do use it a lot. I drive a lot to work and I do have audiobooks. Um, I bought a whole year of audio, Audible so I have a lot of books too but I just need my music and I like that I can download things and there's a whole, no a whole reason why I don't mind actually spending $15 a month. It actually is very helpful to my life. So it's $14.99 and then my life insurance is $20. So those are my monthly expenses bill-wise, or reoccurring payment-wise, or subscription-wise. Then I go into my envelopes. I am having, having higher um, grocery mon money this month. A lot of times I'll go 125 but for this month, or for January, I'm going to do 160 I might do a juice challenge, um, but if I don't, it's mainly because I am pretty much out of all of my freezer food. I batch cook a lot of food. So I'm pretty much out of it, and I bumped up my grocery um envelope this month so I can make a lot of food and then eventually in February probably it'll be cheaper or a smaller amount. My spending money is 40 and I'll go into my no spend month in a second but $40 for spending, $30 for eating out, uh, $20 I always have as a miscellaneous buffer, um, 135 for gas 
And the last time I budgeted, I actually did have a car payment and I didn't have gas because I had an electric car. But now I don't have a car payment, in theory, I don't have a car payment. And I'm now I'm spending about one, it's about 120 a month on gas, but just so I'm not like stranded anywhere, I have it at 135. And then my meal ticket is, um, I get reimbursed. If I do two hours of overtime on my actual shift, um, I can use up to $15 that I'll get reimbursed for, for, for food. So I don't actually know how much overtime I'm doing in January because it's possible that I can be doing a lot. It's possible that I can be doing anywhere between two and eight shifts with overtime, or it's possible that I won't be doing any overtime. So I have it at 30. If I need to move money around, sometimes I will move it out of either my miscellaneous, my eating out, my spending, or my grocery, but I'll get that money back. So I have no problem with that. If I sign up for overtime for my shifts, which I don't particularly like doing right now, um, I don't like doing overtime before or after my shift, but I can't do it after my shift because of my, my new schedule. But if I do overtime before my shift, I tend to plan it out in advance and I haven't signed up for any of those, so most likely I probably won't have any, but we'll see what happens in January because I don't know. January, at the end of January, it's pretty um, busy for my work because I work at a college campus and it's the beginning of the semester and everything's a little hectic because I work in a parking office, so it's possible that I'll be starting at 8 and working till 9. Don't know. Hopefully not, though. Um, so for my, this is, this is, this is where I kind of switch things up when I'm, um, doing Dave Ramsey style, total minute makeover. You're supposed to be paying the lowest, so technically I was, I'm supposed to be paying this Alta card that I racked up in the last few months. Um, I'm supposed to be paying that first. However, I'm trying my hardest to get out of this, um, my C plus loan. It's a consolidation loan. The minimum payment, payment is 400 not only is 400 but the interest is like 22%. And if I can just throw all of my money at it, I free up $400 a month. I know that goes against a lot of things, but for the debt snowball, a lot of it is, is psychological technically. Like you want the little wins, and me, I'm at the point that I just feel exhausted trying to pay off this one. So I'd rather just pay this one off, and that's my goal. So these I'll be doing the minimums. I'm, I'm well, probably in a month or two I might bump up the minimums, but... Right now it's a minimum so I can try to knock out this consolidation loan. My student loans are going to be deferred because I'm going back to school. And no, I'm not really spending too much money on that. I am going to be spending money on books, but my tuition was technically like $5 because I work at a college campus as a full-time employee, so I actually get a tuition waiver. So I'm taking a personal finance class and a business class. So my student loans will be deferred. Um, I don't have any planned expenses that I really need in January at this current moment. So this, this is normally my, I don't know why it's empty. Um, this is my planned expenses. So these are things like, if I know I'm going to need to buy a pack of socks that are like $12, I'll put it here. I'll deduct it from my spending or from wherever I'm deducting it from, but just so I can remember that I, I'm, I am specifically spending that money for that item. I don't draw out my entire like shopping list there, but... If I need something like that, I tend to put it there because it's just easier for my head. And I'll go through other columns in a second. Um, these are my sinking and savings funds. My emergency fund is still at 500. Hopefully it does not get wiped out for my car, but right now it's 500. My gifts are at 120. My travel is 160. My travel, so this year in 2018, I'm tr I really would like to go to all of the vegan street fairs because um, I've been to the well, I've helped and worked at the LA one. I went to the New York one, but she's adding um, not only New York again, which I want to go back, Seattle, and somewhere else. I keep forgetting one of them, but I really want to go, and that's a plane flight and boarding and boarding a room or an Airbnb, um, the food that, you know, actually there, transportation there, etc. And I really want to go with them. Um, that kind of also breaks the whole trying to get out of debt fast, but also I would like to travel. So, as long as I planned for it, I don't mind doing it. Um, but if I can at least go to New York one and the Seattle one, that'd be fantastic. My car registration's already full. It's going to be 120, 120, 112 um, in September. So that, unless something goes really bad with my car tomorrow, I don't need to touch that. Um, and I'll explain my car situation of what I plan to do if my car is expensive. Car maintenance is at 165. 
my medication supplements are at 105 and this super secret soft school so I am targeting about three thousand dollars for a goal that I will not be explaining here until I hit the goal and then I'll explain what the goal was when that happens um, I do plan to basically I'm um, focusing on two things one paying off that consolidation loan and two getting that three thousand dollars as fast as possible um, so that's why this one's a little higher at the 250. So I'm going to go back through, try to explain some of these other columns that I'm doing. So for, oh, I just realized these dates are wrong. Let me change that really quick. Cause, oh, what was that? I don't remember. My car insurance on the 14th? Fourth. Ugh. Fourth. And 12th. Okay. Oh, that is not 17. Oh, bother. 18. Um, so I do this here, and if you've seen some of my other videos, if not, I'm probably going to make updated videos on this as well. Um, I have my Capital One 360 that has my bills that are basically all of these monthly expenses, my auto pays, etc., and then a whole bunch of um, savings accounts. It has all of my sinking funds, my sinking funds down here. And in the beginning of the month, I, I split it basically with that. So my bills and my, well, this is mostly bills and everything else, all go in my Capital One. And my simple bank account is what holds all my spending money. So all my envelopes that go in there. And then this is calculating really wrong. So let me just delete that. So eventually this is going to tell me how much money I have as I go through. I'll just update that later though. Actually, let me do that now. You can see me do something with formulas. So, how do I, I just erase that? Let me go back and fix that. Oh, Google Sheets, why are you fighting with me right now? Let's see, why are you less? E15, okay. Plus... C33. Interesting. Oh, because it's not holding this, I believe. So this isn't. Okay, random. There you go. So as I'm going through the month and I'm entering things, everything starts changing. So for um, January, I'm going to try my hard hardest to do a no spend month. And I don't know what my hair is doing. Um, no spend month. So I am still planning as if I normally have my envelopes, as you can see here, in my envelope area. However, I did mark off which ones I'm going to be no spend. So spending, no spend. Eating out, no spend. Miscellaneous, no spend. And meal tickets, no spend if I don't have to use them, I wrote here. And if I do have a meal ticket, I am not going over the $15. If I have it left over, so for groceries, if I have anything left over, I don't think I had this on my last budget with me videos, but now I, I designate where the, the stuff goes. And before I used to all go to debt, but now since I'm trying to also raise a goal for something, I'm... Doing both. It's kind of like when I was trying to raise money for my car that I now have, which I need to make a video on, on my Dave car. But anyway. So, for groceries, if I have any left over, it's going to go to my debt. For spending, it's going to go to my goal. For eating out, it's going to go to my goal. For miscellaneous, debt. For gas, goal. And for meal ticket, debt. So that's where everything's going to go if I have anything left over. Um... See if I added anything here. So this dispersed section might confuse all of you. That just means did I put it where it needed to go? So if my groceries are already tied to my simple savings goal there that acts as a digital envelope, did I already put it there? Um, same if I had any planned expenses, and this I just put it in as I go. So that's just a little like signifier to me to make sure that I'm putting them where they need to go. So yeah, that's, I mean, it's pretty much all I have left for January. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. However, if anything changes because of my car situation, I'll make an updated 
um, budget, which basically means I might have to go into like store mode as in I am not paying extra on anything until I kind of go back up because if example, um, if I do, I'll just write it here or I'll just point it out here. If I do, if for example, it's a head gasket, it's going to cost me 1400 I'm going to have to, um, take money from my emergency fund. $500 for my emergency fund, um, $165.10 for my car maintenance, and then I have my debt snowball or my, my debt. Um, I kind of put everything away in a savings account uh, when I'm getting extra money. I don't pay things as I'm going. So if I have extra money, I don't throw it yet. I wait until the end of the month because a lot of the times Murphy loves me and everything goes wrong. So I just kind of hold it there in case something happens exactly like this. So I have about $700 in there. So I'll be wiping out my car maintenance, that's 700 something dollars. My emergency fund, if it's like the head gasket, which is 14, about $1,400. If that happens and I happen to touch my emergency fund for any reason, everything else is going to stop. And I'm throwing everything back into my emergency fund because I don't like not having an emergency fund. I'm actually thinking about bumping it up, but I haven't decided yet. But if that happens, basically, like I'm not adding any extra to my loan, um, I'm probably going to cut down my spending and my eating out just off the bat and just like literally shovel everything back in there as fast as possible. Um, I might actually clear out my sinking funds and just move everything around just so I can have that $500 there. But you'll see what I do if I have to do it. Hopefully it's just like maybe the radiator because it'll be just two or $300 instead of $1,400. Um, but yeah. It's it there. I don't know what this is for. But yeah, if anybody wants a copy of this, I'll add um, a link down below so you can download a template version and I'll show you actually one here. This is a blank one. You're going to see all these weird um, codes here. That's just because you need to actually like put something in it for it to do anything and then everything goes in and you're good. Oh, I wish I was getting 18000 a month. That'd be amazing. You can put notes in here. I don't have everything that I have here because this might confuse some people, so I just took that off. If you want to add more things here, you can add um, what you're doing with it here. Um, debt or plan expenses. Let me just copy that over. Here we go. I feel like typing that again. Here. Oh, nope, that's not what I wanted. I guess I'll just type it. I'll just do that. And then fix all that for you guys if you want it. Why is that not working the way I want it to work? Oh, something's weird here. Oh, space. There you go. So I'll take that off. All right. And basically, if you guys want this, it's going to be free down below. And if you have any questions, let me know. Wish me luck on my car. <laughs> Bye.